All right. So all the parts finally came in. I was waiting a couple weeks for this thing, but this is actually the support bracket that actually supports the heated bed. And below are the linear rails with the dual carriage. So I gotta get these mounted here, and I have some other things here besides that. I'm gonna hold it, and hopefully this might act as an end stop too, because I have the uh, the TMC 2209 drivers. Uh, I made another video about that, but so that that will support those in place. I'll also have T nuts going down here. Hopefully the lighting's good enough. Then I can get the uh, heated bed going. All right, so I'm making more some more progress with that here. Got the rails on. And actually, I did want to cut these. Actually, I wanted to extend this out as much as I could. Because that's going to actually act as the end stop right there. But I don't want to lose any sort of, like, uh, travel. So I actually brought these out. I actually extended these pieces further out to give me more travel out this way. All right, so got the bed plate on there. Not bolted down yet. I actually brought them close together as possible because I don't want this to interfere with my travel, max travel. So I, so I had them far, I mean, I'd actually like to have them farther apart like that to give it more stability, but that would totally mess with my travel, so I can't do that. So I gotta bring these together closer to do more travel. All right, there it is. Cool thing about this, and the reason why I'm doing this is there's no play, absolutely zero play. I can't move around at all. But with the linear rails, I mean the linear rods, it uh, you'd still have play in it, so. And this thing is zero play. It's a little stiff still, I might have to just make some adjustments here, but just working it in seems to loosen it up a lot. So just getting the bearings working in. But yeah, nice. So alright, now I need to work on the uh, Y tensioner because I can no longer use my old one that I had. Because that was for an A-net board and that would hit, that would mess up my clearance. So I gotta put a I've already seen a couple on Thingiverse that I can mount down here. And I gotta get my Y stepper back here. Ah, I got yeah. the Y card set up here. Get the belts out of the way. Got the belt set up here. The stepper. Turn all that stuff out. Got some adjustable thing there. Pulley. I actually use the uh, geared pulleys. Right there. These are actually based on uh, where they have M3. And they're a 20 tooth pulley. Yeah, I preferred the uh, ones with the actual uh, tooth design over the uh, smooth design. All right, making some progress. So I had to raise the bed up quite a bit to clear this. I, I probably could have gone a half inch lower, but there, this is the issue I was having right here. Well, right now it's actually in the bed, but... Before I was actually, this part was hitting the uh, Z screw right there, so... <clears throat> one of the other issues I'm having, right now I have my BL touch over here, but the problem is, it's not going to give me very much clearance over here. So I'm going to move the BL touch. I printed a different one out that's mirrored. <clears throat> I'm going to move it, I'm going to screw it on the front here. Move it over to this thing so it's more centered. So it can actually hit the bed on the more towards the edges. Yeah, I guess I could have got them out a half inch lower on these posts right here. But Alright, let me show you a stall guard. My sense, these are actually uh, TMC 2209s. Made another video about them. Let me uh, connect to my printer real fast. Using uh, Simplify 3D here, just to control it. So we're online. I bring this off a little bit. And so my sensitivity is 100. Hardly even hear anything. So I'm gonna go uh, bring the Y back. And we will home Y. Actually, I got, I'm not done with my wiring yet. This kind of gets in the way. All right. Yeah, no belt slip. So, uh, G28. Well, I guess we could do home Z. Let's see if the VL type is working. Alright, VL type is working. Alright, cool. So, I clean the wires up. Cool thing is I can remove two of the wires. I'm getting rid of the end, end stop wire, so that's going to make it a little bit cleaner in there. And got the camera connected again. And then eventually, uh, this thing right here, 
will be my, my 3.5 inch uh, Octoprint screen and my thing there. All right, that's All right. my first print. Doing the calibration cube. I still gotta clean up some of the wires back there. Got most of the stuff done. Um, still working on this box, but this is actually one of the reasons why I went back to the main, one of those traditional screens, is the Baby Z, uh, Baby Step. Um, it definitely helps out when you're first get, getting the initial calibration done. Uh, normally I use Octoprint, but uh, to get this thing set up, I'm using Simplify 3D here. But uh, yeah, the cool thing is I was able to, I do, uh, when I'm doing a first test, I do a lot of lines. I make a lot of like 12 lines, uh, layers of, or 12 outside lines of skirt. That way I can actually really look at the, see where I'm at. But it looks like I can't tell for sure what's going on here with this thing, but. All right, there it is. For now, calibration cube. Got all the wires tied up and back together. Um, so let me do a recap of what I did here. So, first, I did a full linear rail upgrade. All axis are at linear rails. I did a uh, BMG extruder conversion. So, I went from a Titan Arrow to a uh, BMG extruder with the V6 hot end inside there. And then, uh, Upgraded the axis here, so I flipped this. This originally was an ANET E10. The lead screws were originally on this side. I flipped them over on this side. This is from a Prusa Bear. Um, I upgraded the uh, drivers to Trinamic 2209 drivers with the uh, stall guard, the centralist homing. And uh, yeah, listen to that. Can't even hear it moving. You can hear the fans, but you don't hear like the drivers moving at all. So. So, yeah, lots of uh, changes and modifications and things I had to mess around with to get it going. But, uh, yeah, if you're going to do an upgrade like that, you should probably have a secondary printer just to fix things as you go. But, all right, guys, cool. Uh, yeah, I wanted to actually, I wanted to, boy, oh, sorry, <laughs> I also expanded the bed, too. So I went to a uh, CR10 uh, bed from a 270 by 220 bed. This is 310 by 310. So, in that glass, I've got that special glass, and uh, so, in the future, I'm going to be doing a laser cutter. So, I'm going to take a lot of these extra spare parts I have laying around from 3D, 3D printer building and uh, build a laser cutter with it. And also, uh, i got to put this back on the front near the, uh... yeah, I went back to this uh, original LCD, just because I like baby's, uh, baby stepping, baby Z. And being able to control BL Touch My Home, then I'm also going to have my 3.5 inch Raspberry Pi 4 in there. Alright, cool.